gonna get a titties? I mean, God damn. Damn it, shut your mouth before you get us arrested. Hey man, get off the phone. Right fucking now. I insist that you apologize. Y'all keep an eye out. We're some deep shit and need your help. Where are you? Just off the parade route. Danny's hurt. I can't get a car to you because the roads are closed off. Listen. There's a grocery store on the backside of the cemetery. Can you get over there? Yeah. There'll be a car waiting at the loading dock. And Lincoln, be careful, yeah? Who do you think you are? You and Nelly Sport. We will. Sammy's having a car delivered. It'll be at the loading dock at the grocery store. God bless you, old man. Let's go. I'll deal with the cops. I'll no. warn them off you. Hey, no fucking way, man. It's all right. He ain't going alone. We all got a friend. Jesus. Amen. All right. Let's go. Oh, you 
units. Negative visual on suspect. Begin search in immediate vicinity. Where's Georgie? We got separated before we lost sight of him. He said he'd meet us back at the house. Available. Get in! 3-5, suspicious person in vehicle. Responding unit investigated. All units be advised. Suspect located. On scene units engaging. Titties. I don't care what it fucking costs. They go? Yeah, yeah, man, they done. I knew we could pull it up. I knew it. We're rich. Fuck. <laughs> I'm robbing people with a six gun. I fought the law, and the law can kiss my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I fought the law, and the law lost. <laughs> well, how much is it? A little over two million dollars <gasps> per split. <laughs> Holy mother God. Once everything's settled up, I'm calling the man I know, having him bring over three hookers. Boy, ain't All no right. hooker ever stepping foot in this house. You sure? Because two of them are for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be fucking in my new drifter. I'd appreciate that. You know, my entire life, there's always been someone standing over me, telling me where I could go, what I could do, who I could be seen with. This. What you boys did tonight. This changes everything. This isn't just money. It's freedom. Real freedom. There ain't no one standing over me again. <laughs> over any of us. Vouloir c'est pouvoir, eh? <laughs> well, well, well. Oh, look man, man, look at that. <laughs> oh, and look at what I dug up. You mind pouring one more of those? Holy <laughs> shit. It'll be my pleasure. Judgey told me ship went sideways during the robbery. Lincoln had to save your ass. You should be damn proud of that, boy. I am, Sal. More than you'll ever know. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ, that is some down-home hooch right there, isn't it? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Listen, I got a guy outside. Y'all mind if he comes in and packs up my cut? Hey, Not at all. Look at that. Let's see if you can handle this down-home hooch. Yeah, I'll give you some of that. Trying to get some corn whiskey? Make you a man. <laughs> they all the same. <laughs> hey, take the one on the end. It's your cut, plus what I owe you. Even put in a little extra for your trouble. Couldn't have pulled it off without you, Sammy. Y'all done right by me tonight. Mwah. Mwah. Why don't you get us something off the top shelf? We need to celebrate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you ain't got to tell me twice. Yeah. Hey, fill me up. All right. uh, know you something, the Lincoln? You. You're possibly the baddest motherfucker.
looking out of the fire, he woke up long enough to tell me to call John Donovan. So that's what I did. Most days I wish I'd never made that call. Mr. Donovan, do you know this individual? Sure. Sal Marcano. Mm -hmm. And how about this man? That's Sal's worthless piece of shit brother, Lou. Look. Enough of the dog and pony bullshit. What's your real question? It's a dangerous course you're contemplating. And what do you think we should do? Sal Marcano deserves to die. I won't argue otherwise. Kill him. But let that be the end of it. That's not enough! It's enough if you say it's enough. I know what Sal did to you, Lincoln. But nothing you do will bring any of them back. This isn't about bringing them back. Or even exacting some street justice. It's about making that bastard feel what it's like to lose everything. Watch as I take it all away from him. This is a one-way road, Lincoln. Once you start down it, there ain't no turning back. I'm going to Sammy's to get my stuff. You ready? I'll be waiting in the car. Taught us kids to turn the other cheek, not fight back. Problem is, that don't work. Not in the real world. Ready to roll when you are. The Padre doesn't seem too keen on the plan. You don't need to worry about him. I just hate to encounter any Catholic guilt I'm always hearing about. He knows every low life thing I've ever done and has never ratted me out. If I say we can trust him, we can trust him.
Welcome home, son. Now who wants to get shit faced? Hey, bullshit they are. This guy's a beast. I gotta do. I ever tell you how I got this? Sure, you stole it. That idea, yeah. I had the pocket of this old white man used to come around here raising him. Take this with you. It's always brought me good luck. I can't do that. I know you think you're alone in this world, you go, no, but you're not. And you never will be. <laughs> you weren't lying about setting up a tax center. The key to running a successful black bag operation is plausible deniability. Which is why I stole all this shit from the FBI. <laughs> Things go tits up, those chicken dicks can deal with the fallout. Glad to see you haven't lost your touch. <laughs> if there's one thing I'm good at, it's fucking with Hoover's Ferry Brigade. And while you were convalescing, I did some digging around. Wanted to see if there are any local assets for you to recruit. I came up with three possibilities. Right now, my priority is getting the hollow out from whoever ended up with it. Figured as much. Patience? Well, I thought they fell apart after I put Baca down. Lucky for us, they're back up. And they're none too pleased that Sal gave Delray Hollow to the Dixie Mafia. Dixie Mafia? Georgie's idea. It's got him running heroin, trying to get everybody hooked. Motherfucker. I'll be damned if I let those coon asses destroy everything that Sammy built up. 
Who replaced Baca? Unknown. Managed to keep his identity a secret. Unknown? Even to John Donovan? Never thought I'd see the day. Well, I can't help it if I was born pigmentally challenged. So, you telling me my only option is to tail one of these Haitians? Hope he leads me back to the mysterious leader? Hey, it's better than no options. And once you've ingratiated yourself with them, you come see me. I'm finishing something up you're gonna wanna see. They're flying James L. Ray back this week. Still amazes me they expect us to believe it was one man who did in Dr. King. It's too easy. Too bad. Oh, Let's sorry. say he was the one who shot Dr. King. Just him and no one else. What if it's really that easy to strike down a great man like Dr. King, President Kennedy, Brother Malcolm? Then nothing in this country will ever change. Now you struggle and you sweat and someone can take it all away just like that. Looking good, chocolate pudding. Maybe you can give me a taste later on. How'd it go out there? Those Dixie cocks up the British. Just take a sledgehammer to the whole goddamn thing. For true. The thing that surprises me the most is how much these crackers love black pussy. These crackers love enslaving African women. out of the hollow. Give me your boss and I'll make it happen. Fuck. Shit. Get to the voodoo shop. You'll find the boss there. Sorry about the headache, brother.
buffet? Nice trick you pulled back at the Haitian camp. Ten Baka was holding you prisoner. And I yelled, you are dead. It appears we both full of surprises. Certainly does. <laughs> what can I do for you, Lincoln Clay? I want you to help me kill Sal Marcano. I see. A few months ago, you was trying to kill me. Now you break in here and expect me to trust you? Now that Marcano's back in the Dixie Mafia, it's only a matter of time till they come for you. And when they do, they'll kill everyone standing in their way. Lest I hitch my horse to your wagon, so to speak. I'll see to it that you get the hollow. After that, depends on how things shake out. Do you know why Sammy and I were at war? On account of you going after the lottery? Please. Just because you don't want to face some uncomfortable truths ain't a reason to act naive. Sammy and I were fighting because the people in Dahala deserve better than a two-faced old man who handed out cans of food whenever the mood hit him. Who always did what Sal Marcana told him to do, even if it pitted him against his own people. He did the best he could. And yet his best didn't amount to much, did it? Once I have the holler, I run it as I see fit. No questions asked. As long as you give me access to your muscle, your connections, and a place to hold up from time to time, you can do what you want. Marcana replaced Sammy with a man named Richie Doucette. Do you know of him? Assume he's Dixie Mafia. He's a wooster! Likes to kidnap black teenagers and take them out to the bayou. After starving them for a few days, he cuts them loose, tells them to run. Sometimes he brings out the dogs, you know, for old time's sake. That's how he killed my sister. This is all I have left. How do I find him? It's still dangerous around here for him, so he stays on the move. But his men operate out of the community church in the old theater, Pearl, as it used to be called. It was named after Sammy's wife. I'm taking it down first. One of my men have been staking it out. Seeing what he can learn about how it's being run, you should talk to him and see what he knows. Once I deal with it, I'll see about the church. 